Hey there everybody, DStroyRex here, and welcome to part 5 of Let's Play Super Mario Bros. 3. We are in Iceland, um, it's cold, but it doesn't matter because it's not like Mario feels cold in these games. However, um, one thing we can definitely anticipate are sl very, very slick, well, slick ground. Uh, we can also anticipate patooies. There are two types of patooies, the walking ones that you see right there, and the ones that are stationary that just, you know, they're stationary in a pipe and, you know, just blow a spike ball at you. So, we want to watch out for patooies because, um, yeah, we don't get hit by a spike ball. All in all, though, patooies are not much of a threat, and this level is rather short, so, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's it. So, there we go. Next level, but first, the end spade game. Beum! <laughs> Alright, so. Um, I haven't really had a lot of luck with these end spade games. Let's see if I can do it this time. Um, no, I still cannot, because I suck, but it's okay. Oh well, anyway, let's go in. Well, Battle Hammer Brothers. <laughs> I forgot. You see, I forgot the order in which I did all these things in, because it's been a while since I've actually um, played the game and recorded it, so I am kind of learning. I'm trying to remember, but I obviously will not remember because it's been forever. All right, here we go. Beum. Okay. Auto-scrolling level for the win, maybe. I don't know if you would count this as a win or not, but um, don't fall, obviously. And, of course, we have platforms are very very slick so um, be mindful of that of course if you have the super leaf it's um, and turn yourself into raccoon Mario it's not too bad at least I don't think so and of course here's where things get interesting we move upwards just be careful not to fall be careful be careful not to fall. Okay. And we go down. Down, 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 down. Down, down, down. Yeah, I was just singing some lyrics to a song called Normal Town by Brother and Ezra, but it's okay. I never said I was a great singer. And star! <laughs> so far, so good. All right, let's go into this toad house over here. Be uh, not yet. Too early. What am I doing? Beum. Okay. Its contents will help you on your way. Um, for those who probably are curious as why I do some sound effects, it's because um, I'm using a different program. I mean, I'm watching the video with one program, which is, of course, um, Avid Studio. And I'm recording my commentary with another program, which is um, Gold Wave. So, um, I have to give myself some audio cues here and there, so that way I can actually sync up the audio properly. It, and cause, because it makes my life a lot easier whenever I do this in post-production. Um, for those who don't know, I used to do all of my editing, um, audio and video in Avid Studio, and Avid Studio kind of desynced a few things, my audio from some of my Let's Plays, so um, I do all my audio in another program. So, yeah. <laughs> oh, I was going to say star, but I got a mushroom. Oh no. No, it's okay though. I'll live. Mini fortress. Alright, so let's be careful. Be very careful. Oh my goodness, this is bad. This is bad. This is bad. Oh, that was too close for comfort. Comfort. Oh, this is bad. This is bad. This is bad. Oh, I'm going to lose a life. Yeah. Sometimes I suck at this game, but you know what? I have 44 lives left, so I don't think I'm going to be worried all that much. I just have to be careful not to lose those 44 lives. That's not a good start. 
But that's not a good start either. Alright, so... Okay, good, 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 good. Alright, so, let's see. Yeah, I mean, I'm watching this in post-production, and I'm just kind of cringing. I'm just like, ooh! There's a hot foot, by the way. And... Yeah. Okay. Didn't mean to do that. Alright, so let's do this... Carefully. Super Leaf. Raccoon Mario! Haha! <laughs> Have to be very careful here. Alright. That wasn't too bad. And we are now encountering Boom Boom once again. That wasn't too bad at all. <laughs> that was incredible, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> and there's an end spade game. All right, let's see if I can do this. Bah, okay. Come on, I know I can do it. Bingo! Okay. So far, this is... This is amazing! I tell... Well, of course, I mess up. But I swear, I wasn't cheating. I wasn't looking up a strategy guide or anything like that because um, that would take forever and a day. And I didn't want to do that, so... Yeah. Alright. So, um, we're gonna try the in spade game again. Maybe I'll get lucky. I doubt it. Let's see? There you go. Oh, my luck just keeps running out. I am... I don't know. Alright. Now, keep in mind, normally, I mean, I would say that this would be somewhat easy if it wasn't for the ice blocks here. That makes things pretty super slippery. Um, so just gonna have to, don't be over, don't get overconfident. Because overconfidence is bad. Like that. Yeah, that was pretty bad. Okay, well, let's try this again. What power-up am I going to be using? I don't know. I don't remember. Mm, I don't remember. Don't remember. Who do I pick? Fireflower! Okay, that works. Let's see. Be careful. Be very, very careful. Well, man, when I was a little kid, I made up a silly song to this, and, well, it was also stupid, too, so, yeah. Um, I'm not gonna sing it for you. Watch out for that fire chump, of course. <laughs> Wasn't that awesome? Remember, kitties, I am doing audio cues so that way I can sync up the audio later on. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm not just doing this because I'm silly, it's because I'm, you know, I kind of want to make editing a little bit easier on myself. Because, um, yeah. Okay, what am I doing? Beam! <laughs> Alright. So, yeah, um, this level here is a gimmick. Oh, by the way, the, the Buster Beetles right there, you can hit with Fire Flower. I mean, with Fireballs. This level has a gimmick. Um, there's only one exit in the level, and you have to, you, you have to be Raccoon Mario, or you have to be Tanuki Mario, or you have to be Mario with, you have to use, uh, a Raccoon-powered, um, a Peewee-powered, um, Mario. So, yeah. 
And the other thing is um, you need a Koopa Trooper shell to complete the level. So um, just follow along with me if you're playing and you'll see how to beat the level. Fly, and you wanna do this pretty quickly because eventually that Koopa Troop is gonna pop right back out. And with that said and done, there you go. That wasn't too shabby now, was it? I don't think so. All right, so another level down. Another level down, another one gone, another one bites the dust. Hey, they're gonna get you too. Another one bites the dust. <laughs> Hammer Brothers suit? Oh my, this is gonna look awesome. The hammer suit. I'm, I can turn myself into Hammer Mario with that. However, I'm not gonna do that in this part. So um, yeah, you're gonna see that later on. So, yeah. <laughs> I don't know why I'm paused right here, though. Um, because, not like I don't know what I'm doing. Um, I don't know what I'm... Why am I paused like this? Was I looking away all of a sudden? Oh, well, I don't know. Let's play. Sometimes I do silly, silly things. Don't bother going up there. Just keep going down. And watch out for that cheat sheet, by the way. There we go. Okay. Spikes. Alright. Watch out for that. Cheap, cheap. Watch out for that. Eek. Gads. Okay. So, um. Sometimes I suck. But it's okay. Alright. Okay. If I can do this carefully, I can get that fire flower. And. Fire Mario! Yes! Now you're playing with power! Fire power! <laughs> Alrighty. Just have to be careful of these stupid piranha plants. Watch out for the cheap cheap in that piranha plant right there. There we go. So far so good, not too shabby. Just take out all the enemies that stand in my way! There we go! And with that, a 5 up! Yes, so Rama, ladies and gentlemen, a 5 up for our efforts! <laughs> I'm being silly. I know this isn't much of a, you know, a le I mean, yes, it's a let's play. Um, Strategy, as far as strategy goes, yeah, you're seeing the strategy by watching me um, play the game. So it's just a matter of me talking about the game every so often and me being silly a good portion of the time because um, if I'm not silly, then bad things happen. Like, um, you all might get bored and I, that would be kind of bad. Another Jugum Cloud to bypass a level if I wanted to. So, yeah. I don't think I ever... Do I ever demonstrate that Jigum Cloud? I don't think so. I don't know. It doesn't matter. And, of course, that's me botching another spade game. I know. It's sad. It's sad. It's sad. Oh, well. Doesn't matter. Am I demonstrating it here? Yes, I am. So, that's how the Jigum Cloud works. I kind of thought I demonstrated it, but I was like... I wasn't too sure, but yeah, that's how the Jigum Cloud works. However, I lose a life here, I'll go back to the last level that I've completed. So, um, I mean the, yeah, so basically it's just a matter of getting hit by fire snakes, I mean fire chomps, and try not, yeah. Sometimes I suck. And here comes the explosion! And yeah. Destroyer X, you are something else. Ah, guess I won't be Super Mario for this. I'll just go through it as rig as small Mario. I can do it. I just have to be careful. Like, 
Yeah. Ooh. That was too close. Okay. Go down here. Jump. And there we go. Not too shabby if I say so for myself. By the way, those coins that you saw back there, um, if you are Fire Mario, you can actually melt the ice and get those coins. Is not a pretty interesting thing. I think so. Okay. Let's do this. I know we can do this. Because it's mini fortress time. Do it! Alright, be careful of the thwomp. Alright, keep keep your peepers on making sure not to get chased down too much by the boo diddly. Okay. Not too bad. Of course what we have to do is slide under here. Now, why did I wait for that? Because I am stupid sometimes. But it is okay. I can use the points, even though points don't really matter too much in this game. Unless you're doing a point run, then sure. Knock yourself out. Ouch. Icy floor and a boom boom. What an awesome combination. However, Boom Boom is still pathetically easy. Not too shabby if I do say so myself. All right, with that done, we will go to the end spade game. Yes, let's do that. And botch it, apparently. Yeah, I botched it, but it's okay because um, I'm pretty sure I'm I have a good amount of items anyway, so it doesn't really matter too, too much. It's not icy here. Of course, there's ice. There, I'm, there are ice blocks, but it's not too icy here. Oh my goodness. Now be careful. There we go. Those nipper plants. Ha <laughs> ha. They don't stand a chance against us. Uh, yeah, I was wrong. They stand a little... Oh well, it's okay. Star! Ha <laughs> ha! Gotcha! Yeah, I know, I'm being... I mean, it's not really much of a commentary, I will admit, because it's just me being... just acting silly and talking about the game ever so often. I mean, I know... It's hard to offer strategy because you're watching the strategy right now. By the way, be careful of that scatter blooper. And, you know, I mean, it's hard to demonstrate things like that. <sighs> I don't know. I mean... Yeah. But yeah, just keep watching me. And, by the way, you have to be up here to eventually... You watch out for the scatter blooper, by the way. Um, be careful the munchers, um, they are, they are invincible. And we're almost done with the level, by the way. See? There you go. Yes! <laughs> Five up! Five up, five up, five up. Yes, ha ha. Okay, so, um. Not too bad. I mean, we've got hit by a Koopa Troopa. Koopa Troopa, but it's okay. Um, never said I was. Blah! Never said I was an expert at this game. That's exactly what I was about ready to say. Um, not an expert. So, I mean, I would would I be better than the kid that played Super Mario Bros. 3 in The Wizard? Yes, I would actually. Of course, judge seeing how I'm playing, you wouldn't imagine that. 
Oh, oh my. Okay, so we're gonna go in guns blazing with by being Fire Mario and just pummel everything in sight with fireballs. Nothing will stand in our way. I may have screwed up. Yeah, I did. All right. There we go. Now, you can see that there are some nipper plants encased in ice blocks. Um, be very careful not to free those nipper plants because nipper plants are invincible. And I am not invincible, so you cannot defeat nipper plants. They will kick you in the bud. Nip you in the bud. That's what I can that's all I'll say. They'll nip you in the bud. Complete the level before I die. Ah, uh, yeah. That was me, you know, deserving that. So, yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, Destroyer X is not an expert. Oh well, I mean, the good thing is I have 50 lives, so if I lose all of my lives in Iceland, I'm going to feel very embarrassed. I may end up feeling pretty embarrassed right now anyway, so. Yeah. Oh my goodness, no! Oh my, my, my. Ugh. Maybe this is the level in which Destroyer X will lose all of his lives and have to start over from the beginning of Iceland once again. I hope that's not the case. Because um, I don't want to lose all my lives. That would be embarrassing. Because I would have to restart the Let's Play to make myself not look stupid. Oh my goodness, I'm gonna embarrass myself again. Oh, whew, that was too close. Way too close for comfort. Alright, nothing else except for the mini fortress. So let's go to the mini fortress. Ready? Okay. What will I choose? Okay. Um, don't jump, by the way. Alright. Okay, okay. Hmm. As you can see, there are stretches here, so um, be very careful. There are, of course, Boo Diddlies here too, so be very careful. Roto discs, spikes, swamps, moving platforms that will could move you one way or the other, conveyor belts, what have you. Be careful of all of that. And don't die like I did. Of course, you have to keep in mind, I haven't played this, I don't normally play this game all the way through. I normally warp at some point, because I hate Iceland. So, um, yeah. What can I say? I know exactly what I can say. I can say, I need to be a lot more careful.
I need to play this game like Captain N, the Game Master. Even though Super Mario Bros. 3 was never seen in um, Captain N, the Game Master, nor was any Mario game, actually. So, yeah. Although, Mario, what, the Mario Brothers series was mentioned in the very first episode of Captain N, the Game Master. And it would never be mentioned again. All right, boom, boom. Not a threat at all. Yay, now we can relax easy. I mean, we can take a breath and relax because that was, wow. And with that, we are going to board the airship and see a seal. A seal balancing a crown on its nose, just bouncing it up and down and all that stuff. Wow. So we're going to be assaulting this airship as Tanuki Mario. Will we be able to do it? Um, we, I hope so. Because um, I don't want to lose the Tanuki suit here. Some of the obstacles, of course, you've seen throughout the game, so it's not like I'm going to have to explain all that much, even though I would never really explained all that much to begin with. Um, just make sure you don't fall off the airship and die! Of course, don't get incinerated and die! Okay. So far, so good. Alright, so who is the Koopaling that we will be battling here? The Koopaling that we'll be battling here, his name is Lemmy Koopa. L-E-M-M-Y. And what is his gimmick? He balances himself on a ball and moves around on a ball. And he shoots out balls. three balls bouncing around and there we go now check out the awesome awesome greeting that we'll see from the king because we are wearing the tanuki suit which is pretty awesome but not only that we're at the end of the video so in part six we are going to be tackling pipeland and wow pipeland is a doozy you'll love pipeland or you might hate it i don't know We'll find out next time. So until then, take care, everybody, and ciao for now.